You're listening to Tim Bolkley's 5-Minute Bible. Bonhoeffer on conscience. Oh yes, and on being like God. I've been teaching Genesis this semester, and as part of my marking I've been engaging with students, engaging with Dietrich Bonhoeffer's hugely stimulating and challenging treatment of Genesis 1-3. It's dense writing, packed with good stuff, but difficult to read. But overall hugely stimulating. There are just so many good ideas in it. I thought in this cast I'd just introduce you to one of them. Von Hofer's treatment of conscience. It's really stimulating because Von Hofer claims that conscience is not the voice of God within us. Rather, it's almost exactly the opposite. Conscience, says Bonhoeffer, is the human defence against God's voice. His thought in this direction is prompted by the telling of the story in Genesis 3 where the humans flee from the voice of God. You see, it's their conscience that prompts them to flee. It's because they recognize that they're sinners and that sinners cannot stand before God, that they flee. It's precisely conscience that makes them flee. It's at this point that we have to remember how deeply the notion of grace is ingrained in Bonhoeffer. Grace as God's willingly offered gift that we are unwilling to receive. And also Bonhoeffer's touch of reformed thought, his deep awareness of human depravity. So you see, it's conscience combined with the fact that Adam and Eve have become like God because Bonhoeffer does claim that in eating the fruit in the act of disobedience the human couple have precisely become like God they have become like God by taking responsibility for themselves instead of being creatures they are now like God responsible for their own actions it's precisely this combination that drives us away from God. If we were willing to accept our creatureliness, if we were willing to admit our failing, our sin, our wrongness, then we could still come into God's presence and receive grace. But the voice of conscience and the rebellious desire to be like God taking responsibility for ourselves are precisely what bars the way and that barrier is one that we cannot dismantle and that's where Jesus comes in not in the you shall bruise he shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel bit the proto evangelion as they call it but rather precisely in our need need caused by conscience and by becoming like God I've not done Bonhoeffer's thought justice but if I've piqued your interest to go and read the article then you're in for a real treat if you can make your way through it God bless <laughs>